Uh, I did not see the No Limit Chronicles. I watched a little bit of the Rough Rider one with um, DMX, but I didn't catch it. I got to catch up on it, though. So I got my um, – I got a, I did see the No Limit, like the – what's the hip-hop and um, rhythm and flow thing? I seen the No Limit on that. But I didn't um, – I didn't watch the Chronicles just yet, though. Yeah, I got to catch up on the, the Rough – yeah, I got to catch up on the Rough Riders one. I saw, like, the first two. I got to catch up on the Rough Riders one, too, and it's pretty But good. I do know a lot of the history in No Limit, though. That was good. Yeah, I do know a lot of the history. Yeah, but the doctor, I mean, I, I you know. I sat down and talked to. A lot of people don't I know. Well, I, I was just saying, a lot of people don't know when it comes to the No Limit Chronicles. He put this out there first because he actually is going to have a movie that's going to come out. But he wanted to give everybody their own say first. So he stopped the movie being made to do the doc so everyone can say what they want to say because once the movie come out, he don't want to hear no complaining. That's the masterpiece. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, you know, you say what you want to say in the doc, you know, whatever. But one of the things that kind of has come out in the doc is the, the case of C-Murder. Mm -hmm. And so what they, what they were talking about in the case of C-Murder inside the documentary was he had a, um, I, I guess there was a guy, and, and pardon me, anybody can correct me if I'm wrong, I guess it was a friend or whatever that was there the night at the club. Um, and the police officer, I don't even know if he was a friend of C. Murder. Please just ask this guy, this random guy or whatever at, at the club, do you know who this guy is? Like, they were showing him a bunch of pictures. And he was like, oh, yeah, that's C. Murder. And they was like, oh, okay. And then they were like, they went back and took that little piece of evidence and said, yo, this guy said he saw C. Murder shoot the guy. Mm. And also, C. Murder had two people on the jury who did not vote him I mean, guilty. And in Louisiana has the two count rule where you, the, the 10 can overrule. And it doesn't have it. They don't have it no more. And so they've been trying to get that overturned because they don't have that anymore. And so the case, that case about C murder has kind of like been, the light has kind of shined back on it about the injustice of that. But throughout the doc, P said that he was telling C murder about his choices. Like he was saying, he was telling them like, for example, C murder still lived in the hood. C murder had a mansion but he had an apartment in the projects in New Orleans and was mm. kicking it. And like he felt more comfortable there. And Pete kept telling him, like, I'm not gonna come visit you. You keep making these mistakes. So it's not that Pete feels like he's guilty, but Pete feels like he still put himself in that situation to get caught after being warned for so many times. Mm. And so recently Pete put out that video, I think this past Friday. Yeah, I saw the video. Where he's pretty much saying he ain't no ATM no more and you know, you still giving praises to people that did not have your support and you didn't support, you know, you're not giving the same praise to your family, like your grandmother and your mother and all those other things. And he was like, I'm done. Because, you know, Kim K had put out the tweet, like free mm -hmm. murder or whatever. And I guess Monica had put him on. And shout out to Monica for being, I mean, people talk that ride or die stuff, but God dang, we should talk about 20 something plus years. She'd have been married and everything, and she's still riding for C. Myrtle, who's been inside. God dang, that, that is a standard to be set. And so, I mean, like I said, she was she she's married and had kids. I mean, she was with Rocco, and then she was with she was Shannon Brown. Right. So she, I mean, she's lived a life. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She lived a life, but you, she still like that's that's support. So I guess oh, my yeah, question, yeah, yeah, I say, of course, I say all that to say is like, is P wrong for saying? Not necessarily wipe your hands, but I'm pretty much he he's like I'm I'm good. Is he wrong in what he's saying? The fact that he he don't feel like he need to come visit you no more. That he gave you all these warnings. Like if you have yourself a relative, whether it was a brother, a loved one, or whatever, and you've been giving them these warnings, and y'all supposed to be living this better life, and yet they keep choosing to go in the opposite direction, even though they might be innocent. Is it fair to wipe your hands from them? Uh, and sometimes you got to give especially siblings, you got to give, you got to love them from afar sometimes and give them space to grow and get on the same airspace because siblings as, I mean, siblings can, can butt heads. Because I, <laughs> <laughs> I already know what you're getting at, but go ahead, go ahead. Siblings, siblings can butt heads and, and nobody really understands that unless you have a sibling that you have like just Ah, you just you just butted heads with. So I understand where he's coming from and the frustration that it's like no matter what you do or how much you try to save a person or how much you try to talk sense into a person, they're just not getting it. And sometimes they got to get it on their in their own time and in their own way. But in C. Murder's case, it's it's a little bit different because he's locked up. 
and he's been locked up for so long for uh for a crime that very possibly that he didn't commit. So it, that's 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 a very different situation. But you know, you don't we don't all P's not going to tell us the whole story. C C Murder is not going to tell you the whole story. So we don't know everything that's between them two. But it's always a lot in there, and especially with brothers. It's a lot of aggression. It's a lot of pride. It's a lot of testosterone, and you know, a lot of times neither one is going to back down. So the the longer it takes for somebody to be the bigger person, is the longer that feud is going to go. And sometimes, you know, nobody, neither one of them want to want to back down. Yeah, it seems like when you watch the doc and when you get a chance, you'll catch it. It seems like him and C Murder always had like a little tension because you know it was four of them, and the brother Kevin Miller passed away. And you know, he was murdered. And it seems like P was very much so adamant about, like, I'm not going to get caught out there in them streets. You know, I'm really going to move forward. And the one thing that you get from watching the No Limit Chronicles is that when P makes a decision, he's like, he he, he don't matter. He, he'll drop he's stubborn. He's, he's stubborn. And he'll drop, like, anybody can get it. Don't matter mm -hmm. who you are. Like, anybody can get it. Like, if he's moving forward, and you ain't do, it's definitely a dictatorship. It's not a democracy. <laughs> this is how I'm running it. And if you're not going to listen. All right, all right. You get off the boat. Yeah. Now, on one thing, he, he's not going to hold you like the way you heard about a lot of other labels. Like, if you want to go, he let you go. Like, Snoop, everybody said, like, and he said, but if you knew what you were doing, why didn't you blow up? And if you ain't got a response to that, so be it. But it seems like when you talk through the, chron um, the Chronicles, him and C. Murder had this tension. They kind of always had, when P was preaching to everybody else about what you should, what you should not do, they were saying, like, C. Murder was walking around like, yeah, he ain't talking about me. I know he, he ain't talking about me. So I don't know if you can call that. Well, that could be, I mean, that goes. It could be a sibling, sibling robbery and some, sometimes, I mean, one sibling don't, just can't take direction from another. Even if the direction is good direction, and he's telling you exactly what you need to hear, but you just don't want to hear it because... You my brother, you ain't my father. So and and that, and sometimes siblings can't get a can't get can't get over that can't get past that and it's to their demise and their their fault. I'm not saying that's what happened in that, but it's understandable. I can understand that. Well, can we just take a second to say that if Kim K gets C murder out of jail, 2020 would give more. Oh, she's the goat. Like I um I already I, I'd say I, I I have faith in Kim. Oh, you when know. It comes to when it comes to this subject, this <laughs> subject, this, this when they say she doesn't have a natural talent, this is her talent. Getting getting black men out of jail. That's her talent. <laughs> well, she got black women out too. I mean, well, she, she gets she gets minorities out of jail. She gets she gets black people out of jail. Black, I'm I said black men, but black women, black men. She gets black people unjustly incarcerated out of jail. That is her talent. I don't care how she gets it done what connection she uses, but whatever, she gets it done. So for all the activists and everybody that want to throw shade and, well, she's only doing this because that's the, who, who cares? As long as the job gets done, this job is important. I don't care how it gets done. Just get it done. And she, she has a knack for getting it done. I mean, if you ask anybody who's been in jail, they don't care how they get out as long as they get out. Absolutely. I mean, at, at the end of the day, people forget she is the daughter of a very successful lawyer. So she's not stupid. Well, 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 he passed away, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people people forget about that. Her her father was help get OJ, help free OJ. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you, you make a valid point. You make a people, valid point. People forget that. that. So I'm sure it's some law books around there, and she didn't did some studying with her father. I believe what Ken was like, what seventeen or eighteen when her father passed. Gosh, you know, give me the line. Well, she spent a good amount of time with him. That's I, I right, can right, say right. that. She spent a good amount of time with him before he passed. Rest his soul. So I mean, I'm I, sure. I think, so um, some of that stuff rubbed off on him. I think. I think. I think you make a point about the fact that evolution is not predictable. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing when you watch the old Destiny's Child video that tell you you're going to get black as king in the future. <laughs> you, you know, like it, from no, no, no to black as king. No, <laughs> it, it doesn't. There's nothing there that you can say. You know what? You know what I mean? One day, this person is going to make this. And it's like, if this is what Kim's passion is, I, I mean, I don't watch the Kardashian show, and I'm not turned on by them and every little news cycle that they do. I don't personally care. But I do know one time I spent the weekend in jail, and that was long enough for me. And I didn't care who was going to let me out. I would have hugged you 
I, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can only imagine if you've been in there since 01, you've been in there since 98, you've been in there for the past five years. I can only Just imagine. Get me out of here. It's, especially if you in there for a crime that you didn't commit. So Which a if, lot of people are. If, if Kim Kardashian is the one that gets you out of there, I can imagine. I'm just saying it go to show you. And plus, you know, she is a celebrity, and it seems like celebrities speak a language, and maybe she speaks a language that Donald Trump understands because he was a celebrity too. And he's probably a fan. He's probably a fan. He's probably, he's probably a, fan. a fan. He's probably, probably a fan. fan. So that's um he's probably trying to paint little seeds. But who however it gets done and I mean, hey, I, I don't care. As long as it gets done. It gets done. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, that's the case. But I, you know, I really hate to see. I understand P's frustration. I understand. I guess if C murders felt like he don't feel like P has done enough. I understand what you're saying too about slippery rivalry and things of that nature. So I, I understand. I understand how you can feel like you wipe your hands on somebody because you've been trying to help them and they just ain't listening. Because yeah, the it's like you, you just you just loving them from afar. You loving yeah. them from afar. Sometimes you just gotta let them let them go through their thing. And on their own, and they'll come back when it's when it when it makes sense for both of us. We will come back together then. But yeah. as of right now, we're just not gonna we're just not gonna ever agree on any subject. So there's no point in us, you know, really being together because it's only gonna create more tension and conflict. Sometimes it be like that, man.